Welcome. This presentation covers completing your application and making clerkship requests from programs using the clerkship application and scheduling system. Here is a high level overview of the clerkship process. Each cycle starts with program registration. Students then create their applications and request clerkships from the participating programs. Student applications and requests are sent to programs where they are reviewed and programs make offers. The offers are sent to students at the start of each round and during rounds, students accept or decline their offers. There are several tools to help you with planning and navigating the clerkship process. The clerkship page of the AACPM website contains the schedule for the cycle, the national calendar, and helpful information for your clerkship journey in the resources section. Information on clerkship and residency programs is found in the program directory. You complete your application, make clerkship requests, and manage the offer and acceptance rounds in the clerkship system. Clerkship page of the AACPM website is located under Services on the menu bar at aacpm.org. You'll find the schedule for the cycle with the deadlines you need to meet and are able to download it. There is a link to the Program Directory of Clerkship and Residency Programs. And the National Calendar is posted to provide you with the start and end dates for each clerkship month. The program directory gives you contact information for each program, the program's clerkship and residency requirements for applicants, and an overview of the program and more detailed information about its emphasis and offerings. The clerkship system is the website where you create your application, request clerkship rotations from programs, view and manage your offers during rounds, and view your confirmed clerkships. To access the clerkship system, you must have an account. Your account is created by your college, and information on your account and setting up a password is emailed to you from the aacpm.org domain. We strongly recommend that you add the domain to your trusted sites to prevent the emails from the system being routed to spam or junk mail. If you do not receive the email notifying you of your account, contact your school's clerkship coordinator. Use the link in the email you receive notifying you of your clerkship account to access the login page. Enter your email address as your username. It will be the email address used to notify you of your account and create your password by using the forgot password link. A password reset email is sent to you. Now we will review creating your clerkship application and requesting clerkships from programs. After you log in, you are on your dashboard or home page of your account. Take the time to read the introductory text on each page. It is there to help you. Your dashboard page has a My Applications section to quickly advise you on the completeness of your application. It also has a Favorite Programs section where programs that you select as your favorites for clerkships are displayed. Your clerkship application has five sections and you are responsible for four of them. Your college is responsible for the fifth, uploading your transcripts to your application. The four sections that you are responsible for are your contact information, your educational history, your professional accomplishments, and two references. Again, your college uploads transcripts, GPA, and class rank. Let's get started with your clerkship application. Step one is your contact information and the participation agreement. 
To access the contact information form, select contact information in the My Application box or My Application from the top navigation bar and contact information from the drop down that appears. Complete the requested information presented on the contact information form. This is where you may upload a headshot, though it is optional, and add the URL to your LinkedIn profile if you have one. Scroll further down the contact information page to the student agreement. Read it, and then accept the agreement by checking the box. You must accept the student agreement to participate. After completing your contact information and accepting the agreement, be sure to submit to save your work. You must submit any completed step or page of your application to save it. You may return to finish the rest of your application, the other steps, at a later time. The step or page must be completed and submitted to save it. When you complete and submit the contact information page, you are automatically taken to step two, education. Here you enter information about your educational experiences. Be sure to submit to save your work and be taken to step three, professional accomplishments. Step three, professional accomplishments, is where you can shine. Tell programs about any honors you've received, research you have done, papers you have authored. You may also provide a brief personal statement. Again, remember to submit your entries to save them and progress to step four, references. Step four is references and you must provide the name and contact information for two references that programs may contact if they want to learn more about you. Once you have entered the information, submit to save your entries and be taken to step five, transcripts and file upload. Step five is where your transcript appears after your college uploads it. You are not responsible for that. However, you can augment your application with additional documents such as a CV or a resume. These documents are included with your application and available to the programs to which you apply and request rotations. You will note that on each step or page of your application form, a My Application box is present. It is a quick visual to let you know the steps you've completed, designated by a green check, and which need to be completed, which have a red X. If you want to preview your application, select Preview My Application Profile in the My Application box. You must use the Program Directory link from the top menu in your account to choose programs for clerkship requests. If you do not access the directory through your account, the hearts do not appear so you cannot save programs to your favorites list in your account. A program must be in your favorite programs list for you to request a clerkship rotation from the program. Navigate to the program directory to learn about programs and favorite them for possible application and clerkship rotation requests. Select program directory from the top navigation bar of your account. The directory can be filtered by the criteria on the left of the page, such as programs with available clerkship rotations in a particular month, or by doing a keyword search. To save a program to your favorite list, click on the gray heart. Once selected, the heart will turn purple. The last area of your account is My Schedule. 
choose my schedule from the top navigation bar to access it. You'll see your list of favorite programs, important deadlines for the cycle, and the clerkship schedule portion of the page. This is where you make your clerkship program and month requests and see and manage your offers during rounds. To request a clerkship for a particular month, navigate to the month you want to request a clerkship for in the clerkship schedule section of the page. And in the program name dropdown, select from your favorite programs to request the month. Clerkship requests for the first round are sent with initial application delivery to programs and thereafter at the start of each round. You are requesting, not scheduling, a clerkship from a program. A clerkship is only confirmed after a program offers you a month you requested and you in turn accept the offered month. There are limits to the number of requests you can make for a particular month, the 111 rule. You can only request one program per one given month per round. You may request as many open months in your schedule from the same program per round as you wish to request. Be sure to submit to save your request. You may come back and make changes to your requests until the deadline for applications and requests to programs for the first round and until the start of a round thereafter. Once applications and requests are delivered for a round, your program designations cannot be changed for that round. Once you have applied to a program, your application remains with the program for any following rounds and requests. That's it. Now you can relax. You will get what you need from your clerkship scheduling process if you give advanced thought to your schedule meet your deadlines, and not leave your application and program requests to the 11th hour. Start now. Thank you.